Whether it's Apple's AirPods, Samsung's Galaxy Buds, or even One More's own TWS Buds, wireless headphones have seemed to fall into a rather specific style recently, and not necessarily for the better. This though is a very different style of uh, basically normal headphones that happen to be uh, connected to a neckband that offers wireless connectivity. Now in theory this gives you the best of the wired and wireless worlds because you have a lot of space for a big battery and you don't necessarily even need to care about weight that much as it's just resting on your neck rather than trying to fall out of your ears and you get incredible audio quality from these triple driver in-ears. Now I said in theory there because sadly one more doesn't seem to have followed through with what I really feel is the main benefit of having this rather funky style of headphones and that is the battery life. These headphones give you about seven hours of listening, which while that sounds like a reasonable amount and is actually pretty similar to their TWS Buds, you realize that those TWS Buds sit in a charging case whenever they're not being used, and so you get a total of about 24 hours of listening from them, whereas these, you only have seven hours. And to add to the frustration, the way that you actually charge these is by a recessed USB Type-C port. That means that not only do you have to use their cable or other are very slim line cables. Trust me, I've tried a number of them and a lot of them don't fit in here. But you also have to physically go and plug them in to charge them. With their TWS buds, it's quite simple. You just put them in the charging case and every now and again you charge up the case for a bit and that's fine. And it's also nice and simple. You just plug in a USB port in the back and that's it. These you have to actively, basically every time you finish listening to them, go and plug them in so that you can actually have some battery life the next time you want to use them. Now beyond a bigger battery, a fix that I would recommend here to one more is actually the a charging style of, sort of wireless charging like how Jaybird do their charging for their X3s, a sort of semi-wireless connector that sort of clips onto the bottom of one of the two lobes and lets you still retain some level of waterproofing for the neckband piece, but is a lot easier and simpler and you don't have to go and take a little clip off and then try and shove a USB cable in. It'd be a lot simpler. Now it's not all bad. These headphones, the actual in-ears themselves are incredible. As I mentioned, these are the triple driver monitors and these are genuine impressive. They're incredibly crisp and clear and very, very enjoyable to listen to. They also have very clear treble and a good amount of bass while not being overwhelming and good mids too, so very highly recommended when it comes to the audio quality aspect. Sadly though, there is one other downside and that's the price. One more has these listed on both their own site and on Amazon for £130. Now you can find them for about £100 at the time of filming, so if you are planning on picking them up, make sure you do shop around a bit, but even for that sort of price, for headphones that didn't last me a full day of what I consider fairly normal average use, really seems like a bit much. Now hopefully the battery life is something that they can improve in a V2 of these because if they do I'd be more than happy to recommend them as they're fantastic in terms of audio quality. While the styling is a little bit of a weird look to have a neck band on, it's actually a pretty overall comfortable kind of usage experience. It's also great for a more active style because these aren't big heavy earbuds that are desperately trying to fall out your ears. They're just standard in-ears that fit very well and hold tightly so that's great it too, but as it stands, the, the usual question of would I put this on my desk, for, for right now, I have to say no until they do a better battery life version. With that said though, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Are these headphones that you're interested in picking up? Is the you know neckband style something you're interested in? Or does that just look way too weird and you wouldn't touch that for anything? All that stuff I would love to hear in the comments down below. And of course, as always, if you want to pick up a pair of these headphones or just check out pricing when and we watch this because it does vary, then feel free to take a look at the Amazon link in the description down below. There's also a load of other links down there too for merch for hoodies and t-shirts like this one or Patreon if you want to support me directly and get a cool reward to doing so like ad-free videos and there's also a load of other videos over there and of course if you want to be notified of new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday then make sure you hit that subscribe button with a bell notification icon too. Otherwise feel free to check out the rest of the links from Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links which don't cost you anything but massively help me out when you do use them or stuff like private instant access and humble bundle down there too. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all in the next video.